Here's a question for you. How did you get to vacation the last time? How did you get to work? How, how do we move anywhere here in the United States of America? One of the biggest problems we're facing as a nation today is our growing population, but no way to sustain moving everyone around. So how can we do that? Well, if you look at other countries like Japan and France and Germany, all over Europe and Asia, they have something that's called trains. Something here in America that we've pretty much forgotten our history about. We've made ourselves with trains and now we've destroyed them. But there's a way now to see that it's coming back. The countries that I've mentioned are home to 200 mile an hour electric wonders called bullet trains that transport people in safety, comfort, and allow the freedom to walk, sit, and do what people like to do. In the US, we're home to just one bullet train that's barely classifiable as a high-speed train. Someone somewhere in a bar in either Germany or Japan is making a joke of how fat and slow our trains are. From the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in the United States, from the 50s and until today, the United States railroad system has gone from an increase like this and down to this. What can I say? And hey, believe me, we used to be great. We were the pioneers just 75 years ago and now we've tied ourselves to the track, or in this case, the road. And we often complain about how bad the traffic is or how long we've camped out at the airports. In fact, many times some have pushed to bring high-speed rail technology to the U.S., especially in our sunny state of Florida. The three largest states in the U.S. are California, Texas, and Florida. But that's not the only thing they hold in common. All three will be home to the first future high-speed rail system that will lead the U.S. This is now a clear path that I predicted some years ago and the biggest opportunity this country has had to finally have these super trains. Within the past year, I promoted this through creating videos on the science, news, and information behind this technology from around the world, research that has been done by me and others on board, collaborated with executives from companies like All Aboard Florida and leaders within FIU on their thoughts on high-speed rail, and most importantly, paying it forward by advocating and having my voice heard and representing millions of Americans to be the recipients of proven, efficient, and environmentally sound technology. Through hard work, sacrifice, and hours, we have proven to the world that yes, change can come from just a couple of college students with a dream, a vision, and passion. As noted author Hans Christian Andersen once said, to travel is to live. I remember the first time I rode an Amtrak train up into uh, the Northeast Coast and it was spectacular. We were able to see the whole entire landscape. Nothing unlike that you would see on an airplane. And moving forward into our current generation, which is more environmentally conscious and more socially interactive, things like this, like the Miami Central Station, is going to be part of a new future. A new high-speed rail future that will affect not just me, but you as well. Everyone here will be affected, not just everyone in the United States, but across the world as the United States goes into a new dawn of a new economic era. And it's all brought about by rails. As Mark Twain once said, history doesn't repeat itself, but it sure does rhyme. And by rhyming, we've what got the United States out of the Civil War and into the Industrial Revolution was the building of the railroads. The railroads connected the United States together in something that was never seen before. Now people were getting east to west and it was not a matter of months, but now a matter of just days. And this is something that now we can see that we can get from Miami to Orlando and not stress. Don't have to worry about anything else. Don't worry about driving or the time. Don't worry about accidents. Now we can get there in the convenience and the speed and the comfort of a 125 mile an hour train. This is something that I've helped to create and also other people have helped to create as well. And with the introduction of high speed rail comes the push to even bring mass transit within cities including a project that I am working with American Maglev Technology to connect FIU with the station in downtown and all the way to the beach. At TEDxFIU 2015, 
I will be able to share with the world the ground-shaking changes that is coming from us, how the failures of our transportation infrastructure will finally change with high-speed rail, and how it will affect each and every one of us, even if you decide not to take the train, which, really, who wouldn't?